Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to show y'all how to quickly and easily create a pro forma financial projections for your box truck company, whether it's for a business plan or just for y'all to have an idea of how many miles you need to drive for your trucking company in order to achieve the profits that you desire. So the way this video is going to work out is first and foremost going to give you a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do, and why I do it. From that point in time, we are then going to go ahead and examine a proprietary business plan template that I've created. And in that template is a financial model that is written in Excel and is something I created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all how to quickly manipulate that financial model to um, customize and make it yours. And at the end of the video, if you like what you see, uh, I'll give you a link to purchase the uh, box truck business plan template. All right. So with that said, let's do this short and sweet and to the point. So first, as promised, a little bit about me again, Paul Borowski, owner of Quality Business Plan. I am a business plan writer, specifically a business plan writer. Um, so if you all do need some help with writing a business plan, let me know. Love to help. Just pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am also a professional author. I've got several books published on Amazon, most of them towards business plan writing and financial statements, understanding financial statements. If you are interested in those, check me out on amazon.com. And then finally, a little education behind me, adjunct professor and subject matter expert for both business and finance. So not only can I write a business plan, but I do know how to finance, do financial models, customize them, create them from scratch, whatever the financial model I need, I am the man for it. All right, with that said, box truck company. So if you're doing your box truck company, you need a financial projections, whether it be 12 month projections, five years projections. I, I do sell for, um, box truck business plan templates. And in those templates, it comes with a Word document, which is an actual business plan itself, customized for the box truck company um, industry. And it also comes with an Excel file. And the Excel file is the financial model. And this is the portion of it, the way this is broken down is this top part right here is your revenue generator. So it's the average uh, mileage driven daily. You have three areas that you can change. Your variable cost, which is percentages, your variable cost are, is going to be your fuel, it could be your driver pay, and it's also your maintenance charges. The number here is a miles driven. So if you're going to drive about 450 miles a day, then you would put 450 right here. If you're going to drive 500 miles a day, for your box truck company, then you just change out the 500. And as you change this number here, the miles driven, all the financial models will update. Your 12 month profit and loss statement will update. Your five year projections, year one through year five will update anytime you change any numbers in these dark colors. So again, back to the revenue generators. And you got three variables variable cost, number of miles driven daily, and this is your per mile price. So if you're going to charge $3.10 per mile, this is what you would write it. Um, you'd um, type it in as. A lot of box truck companies, I do know, they charge by the trip. The one trip from Orlando to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, they might charge $5,000. However, when you're charging by trip, it's real hard to understand which trip is going to be more profitable, one to Raleigh or one to Atlanta. That's why I break up my model into per mile. It, it helps to identify which trip is going to be most lucrative for the box truck company. All right, the next area that you can change in the revenue drivers is going to be the number of days per week operating. If you're in business seven days a week, change it to seven. If you're pushing six, change it to six. If you're doing five, change it to five. This area right here, I don't recommend changing. This just says the constructive financial model on a monthly basis, which is where you want to leave it. All right, the next section is going to be the labor. Salary is how much you're going to pay your executive team. And then employees is, again, however many employees you have. If you have four employees, average pay is $17, then you do that. If it's full-time, leave it there. If it's part-time, however many hours are working a month, change it right there. The next section that you can change in my box truck financial model is going to be your startup cost. These first two lines are going to be your investment to start or expand. Equity investment is the money you're pulling out of pocket. And then a loan amount is any money you're going to be borrowing. The rest of the, the um, rest of the numbers down here are going to be categories for your startup cost. 
and you can change these categories and you can change these titles accordingly. Next is going to be your fixed monthly costs. So these fixed costs are going to be rent. If you're going to get an office space, you put your rent there. Utilities, office expenses, insurance, accounting, advertising, and then the catch-all other. So whatever your expenses are, put it here. These titles do not change. Those, those are static titles, so those, those can't change. Below that is going to be your growth rates on various growth rates on an annual basis. Here's your tax rate. If you're paying more or less taxes, change it here. And then finally, if you're taking out a loan, when you put that loan information here, it's going to automatically populate here. And then here is where you can change your interest rate in the term. If it's going to be an eight year term, then change it to eight. If the interest rate is going to be 6%, change it to six. Whatever that's going to be, you change it here. When you make these small changes right here in this um, information page, your 12 month profit loss statement will update automatically. Month one through month three, four to six, and we've got here 10 to 12, and then right here, seven to nine. And then this is just broken into quarterly. And then right here is your 12 month pro forma income statement for the next five years based on the information provided. And of course, we're going to want to change this, put to one employee. And the, here's the net profits. I give you a little running total here. Um, we'll change this up to 500. I like to see my net profits for my box truck clients closer to 100,000 a year. All right, so we'll run with that. And then what we'll do here is now you have your pro forma income statement and we've got it um, net profits of 83,000 to 111,000. So this is just an example of how we quickly and easily you can change this financial model to customize it. Um, it is based on a box truck industry, um, miles driven, average um, char mile charge. You make sure you, you put down your cost right here. You change the numbers, you, you keep the structure. And within literally you know, five to 10, 15, 20 minutes, you're going to have your pro forma income statement ready to go for your box truck. And this is just a part of the template. Um, also, you do have a Word document that I do in a, a separate video. That's the actual document itself to help you with the, um, the, the writing portion of your business plan. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. So let's wrap this puppy up. All right, so in summary, when you're trying to do your pro forma income statement and your balance sheet, and I'm sorry, put your pro forma income statement and your 12 month profit and loss statement for your box truck company, make sure to use a, com a template. I I've designed my templates. It's literally taken me years to, to design that, optimize it, and to test it, make sure there's um, little errors in there. I can't say there's not gonna be any errors, um, but it's pretty solid. So, you know, it's a real good template. If you, if you do it from scratch, you might be there for a little bit of time. Also, if you do need some help, you don't want to mess with your financial projections. You don't want to mess with the template or a model, but you, you do need your projections. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. My information's right here. Um, love to assist with that. If you do want custom business plan writing and custom pro forma financial projections, you can visit my website, qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash business plan prices three. And then if you want to go ahead and purchase my box truck business plan template, which includes the word document, and it also it includes the Excel file, the financial model, just go to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash box truck company business plan template. And just keep in mind my financial models and my um, business plan template for the box truck company is in Microsoft Office, it's Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. So it's not compatible with the Apple products. It's not compatible with Google products. And then finally, if you do need assistance, um, I'm glad to answer any questions about my box truck business plan templates before you purchase. If you have questions, pick up the phone, give me a call. We can have a discussion. I, I can answer all the questions you have. After you purchase a box truck business plan template, though, I will refer you to the tutorials that I do have, and the tutorials are free, um, and, and they're a great tool to use. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful, and as always, have a great day. Thank you.